what up everybody welcome back we are here in the shop today and i was gonna turn the lights on but my stool is missing so as you saw in the last video the uh civic did not do too good uh made a bunch of power you know car made a made a bunch of power but in the process um we broke some stuff car never made a full pass of the track had axle issues transmission issues um kept pushing the axle out of the passenger side and uh at one point it ended up pushing it out of gear on the shift selector so we got to figure this out um hopefully we can get this thing back together and or get it apart get it back together get everything fixed and get out and get testing here pretty soon i'm pretty amped now the car has a tune on it um you know something we can build off of from there and uh just really want to get out and get some passes on this thing hopefully um i know we need to get some stuff legal the cage needs to get certed and i need to go out and do some dry or some license passes at the track i would normally try and do it in the boost knuckle because that thing cracks off a nine second pass with ease um so depending on how bad this is will determine on if I take this out to do license passes or that out to do license passes. Nonetheless, both of these cages need to be certified, which is a pretty substantial amount of money between that and you know getting everything fixed and all that. So who knows what this is gonna take to get either one of these back on the road anytime soon or back on the track anytime soon. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get this up in the air. I am gonna take some measurements for the old axle um to give the jamie at pfi we're trying to figure some stuff out as far as axle length but i'm gonna get this measured and get the tranny out of it and then hopefully get the tranny case apart and see how bad the internals of this thing looks so let's get to it um take the charge piping off just you know let it get in the way basically gonna starter mount um, the motor's got a mid plate on it, which is connected to the tranny, so I'm going to have to get it up in the air, pull the mid plate off, um, and then shift linkage, and a couple motor or, uh, bolts in the rear bracket, the rear T bracket there for the trans, and then really from there, the axle's already out of it, so I just got to slide it back, drop it on the floor, but I got to get Jamie a measurement on the axle, but anyways, next clip, I'll have this out. So, tranny is out. Use a little tranny jack there, got the tranny out. Um, I did notice a couple things. I noticed that the, uh, looks like the, which isn't gonna be the big issue, but it does look like the uh, pressure plate's rubbing on the bell housing. So I may have to do a little clearance on the bell housing. I thought I had all that stuff fixed in the very beginning when I first put this tranny in, but obviously then versus now, um, probably needs a little more adjusting, but Got the transmission emptied, got it on the bench. Um, one thing, if you're ever tearing apart a Honda tranny and like you've never done it before, on the bottom of the case are these two holes and there's two bolts, washers, springs and balls inside of them. Don't lose the balls. You pull the bolt out of it, especially if you're doing it like in the car, which I doubt you'd ever tear it apart in a car, but that was dumb for me to say. But you put it on the bench, you unbolt, the, unbolt those and those fucking little BBs if you unbolt those, you'll find those little BBs inside this hole. So you'll wanna get a magnet, take those out. And then there's another one on the back side that is this one here. That, that one actually hold like bolts to the reverse slider or reverse gear shaft. So you wanna pull that out. I think that's what it is. I think it's reverse gear, like an idler or something. But you will have to unbolt that in order to pull the case apart. And usually on the back of here, excuse me, Usually on the back of the case here, there's a snap ring. For whatever reason, the dog box doesn't have it. I, I mean, at least this one doesn't. But usually there's a snap ring in here that you have to get down in and open it up. And then you have to pry with like 17 different arms to get it to separate. But pretty much the only thing holding mine in now is that reverse gear bolt and silicone. So I'm gonna unbolt that and separate this case. Let's see what's inside of it. I 
like the inside of this case has a lot of marks and this was a transmission I had before maybe that was like that from when I had like a stock tranny or something actually look there's a little indention there oh yeah so somewhere along the lines um, of prying on it there's actually a little hole here I don't know how that happened or when that would have happened I don't think I did that because the mark actually looks kind of old and you can see there's like a little residue around it um, so definitely gonna have to fix that I'll have to weld that up and uh, grind it down clean it up so the axle doesn't hit it but yeah inside here even like some of this stuff is like super super marred up I don't know I don't know what that's about. Like something got inside the, in here, and maybe got wedged in between the case and the shift selector or the shift fork. So maybe uh, that was part of, part of why. Cause this, if you go down here, like this should be first. So yeah, we're definitely gonna have to have the dogs fixed. Um, looking a little rough, but anyways, I guess I'll have to get this thing all apart and uh, see how bad it is. If I need the dogs fixed, I'll have to send it out to my buddy, Nate, um, out of Nate built. He does a bunch of tranny work and uh, have him do some welding for me and some fixing and some grinding and all the above, but Anyways, get this all apart. I'll take everything to work, clean it, and get it ready to uh, disassemble completely. And then we'll see how bad it really is, take the diff apart, see what we got going on there. And then we'll just keep moving forward. Hopefully we can get this thing fixed. Well, I got the tranny all apart. Man, that's dirty. So I got the tranny all apart, or at least separated. Got everything kind of spread out. And then I went ahead um, I did find some issues with the one, two, I guess it is the one, two dogs. This has got the old eight lug on it. Apparently the eight lug is the old version and a lot of people upgrade them to the six lug, which is the new version. Supposedly that's a $700, um, $700 fix. So that sucks. Um, I mean, all in all, everything looks relatively good. Um, definitely gonna have to have some bearings and stuff because metal went through it. But with that being said, I took the diff apart, unbolted it, and then separated it. And you can see this is the splined area where the axle comes into, and that gear is split. So, definitely, definitely, definitely tore up the diff. Um, did chew up some of the helical gears in it. Um, at one point I did have this apart and had all these isotropic super finished So like you can tell they're really shiny and all that uh, Supposedly it's supposed to strengthen them up and some other stuff. It's kind of like unheard of nowadays. People don't really talk about it anymore but uh, Yeah, if you'd have seen these before years ago, I would have had a like before and after picture of them but nonetheless The diff is pretty much trash um, one two gear and slider um is pretty much trash supposedly you can't fix them because the lugs are so small on the eight lug um the six lug the lugs are bigger on it so there's that and then a bunch of bearings and then obviously clean everything up assemble it check everything with a windowed case i'm pretty sure the rear section of my case is junk um i noticed like this piece right here which is actually part where the shift selector, this piece goes into the case. Um, that's pretty wallered out and like really gross looking. So I'm kind of under the assumption that maybe the shift change holder was kind of wobbling around in there, which also probably made it really hard to get into first gear. Um, and then like I said, the case actually had like a crack in it from the exterior coming in. I don't know if I did that whenever I was trying to pop the axle out. Actually, no, it's right here. Yeah, you can see it right there. So, case diff gears bearings pretty much a tranny 
Um, kind of at a loss right now. That's a pretty big chunk of money. Um, so this may get put on the back burner for a while, which sucks because this car does this to me. Karen, she uh, likes to knock me down. I throw a bunch of money at her and get her get her going good, and then she just kicks me right in the, you know what? But anyways, it is what it is. What do you do? It's part of racing, I guess. Comes with the territory. Keep on keeping on.